How much money did Jake Paul make out of his boxing matches? This is one question which you might have encountered time to time. Today, we in Rewind Studios go behind the scenes of these boxing matches to find a close prediction on Jake Paul's earnings. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. Jake Paul is a popular social media influencer with millions of followers on Instagram and YouTube. However, the Disney star has now completely shifted its focus on boxing over the last few years. Moreover, he has his eyes set on becoming a world champion one day. He made his debut in the sport in a YouTube boxing event against Deji in 2018. Since that fight, the problem child has turned professional with three boxing fights to his name. During this short period, Jake has knocked out all the opponents that have stepped up against him. Therefore Jake has turned into one of the biggest prized fighters in the sport of boxing. Owing to the fact that he has such high brand value attached to his name and is also a marketing genius. As a result, let's take a look at the amount of money he has made from all his boxing fights. Jake Paul vs. Deji This was Jake Paul's first boxing fight which took place in Manchester, England in 2018. He was on the undercard of the event that was headlined by KSI and Logan Paul. However, the exact amount of fight purse of Jake Paul and Deji was not revealed even after the event. Although if we take a look at KSI and Logan Paul's earnings from the fight, an estimated figure of Jake Paul's purse could be deduced. KSI and Logan Paul earned around a million and according to a source known as Distractify, Jake has earned around $700,000 to $800,000 that includes PPV and sponsorship. Jake Paul vs. Anison Gibb After convincingly beating Deji, Jake Paul had to prove to everyone that he is not an amateur boxer as he went head-to-head -head against Anison Gibb in a professional boxing bout. Further, this was Jake's first pro fight against a British YouTuber with decent skills. According to Boxing Planet's estimation, Jake Paul made a hefty sum of $1 million for his first professional bout. Whereas Anison Gibb had earned $900,000 for the fight. In the bout, the problem child came into the limelight as he defeated Gibb via knockout. Jake Paul vs. Nate Robinson Next up in line for Jake Paul was former New York Knicks basketball player Nate Robinson. The two celebrities fought against each other in November 2020. In this boxing bout, Jake thrashed Nate and the former basketball player had no chance as he was knocked down several times before Jake Paul finally knocked him out in the second round. The fight purse of this bout was surprisingly less. According to Clutch Points, Jake Paul and Nate Robinson earned $600 as their guaranteed earnings. However, the problem child later clarified that their deal was billed in the back end around how well would the event do across the world. Therefore Jake revealed that he earned an astronomical $10 million from his fight against Nate Robinson. Jake Paul vs. Ben Askarin After the Nate Robinson clash, the narrative around Jake Paul was that he has not fought against a fighter. As a result, he decided to take on Ben Askarin who is a former welterweight champion at Bellator and won championship. The two fought in April and as a result, a lot of hype was created around this fight due to the trash talk from both sides. However, Jake walked the talk as he stopped Ben Askarin in the first round to win the bout via TKO. Moving on to the fight purses, the YouTuber turned pro earned $690,000 for just showing up. Moreover, he earned a lot more in terms of PPV sales, sponsorships, etc. Hence this fight proved to most fans that Jake Paul is serious about boxing and wants to create a big name and win a title in the future. Therefore Jake has become one of the biggest names in boxing and is set to earn a ton of money in the future if he continues his domination in the sport. Jake Paul vs. Tyren Woodley after making high six figures for his knockout win over Ben Askarin earlier in the year, Paul appears to have seen a huge increase in salary for the Woodley event. The internet celebrity made $2 million from the fight with Woodley, as per a report from MMA Fighting, who got those figures from the Ohio State Athletic Commission. This figure is just his guarantee for fighting, never mind his pay-per-view split or sponsor bonuses. Meanwhile, Woodley, who was supposed to only make $500,000 according to his agent, 
also walked away with $2,000,000. Jake Paul vs Tyron Woodley Rematch Different reports of specialized boxing websites confirm that Paul has a guaranteed purse of $1.5 million for his rematch against Tyron Woodley. This quantity can increase depending on the success of the PPV sales, the final figure may touch the $4 million. On his behalf, Tyron Woodley has assured at least $1 million for his second fight as a pro boxer. Furthermore, the former UFC welterweight champion could get a juicy bonus if he knocks out the problem child, $500,000 extra dollars may enter to his pocket. In context, this fight demonstrates Jake Paul's talent for business. His first fight against Woodley represented a 2 million earning, same amount for his mixed martial artist opponent. A huge lap if it is considered that he received just $690,000 for his third professional boxing bout when he defeated Ben Askarin, a retired mixed martial artist, with a powerful KO on the first round. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the Rewind Studios and hit the bell icon to never miss a video like this. And let us know whom else we should document next in the comment section below.